Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I am being so strict with this puppy. I am not letting her get. I am not letting her chase Ellie. And when I don't let her chase Ellie, Kirby, when I don't let her chase Ellie, you would be shocked at what happens. She goes off and she plays with the other dog. She acts like a bigger dog. She behaves. No. I mean it. We're not doing that today. Hey! <laughs> she really wants to. But it's hard because I have to watch constantly to make sure that she doesn't go for Ellie. Isn't it much better, Ellie, when they're not when she's not on top of you the whole time? That's one of the hard things about when you get two puppies together. This is the second time we've had I mean, Ellie's not technically a puppy, but she kind of still acts like a puppy. But we got two puppies together before, during COVID. We got that puppy and Daisy. And let me tell you, that was a lot of work. Looking for a reason, driven by the heart, fighting for a season, with sadness fall apart. She's still really young puppy though. But her and Molly are two peas in a pod, let me tell you. They are so much alike. Are we going in the barn? Alright, come on, we're gonna go this way. Come on! It's literally cold today. Man, this is like a full-time job. It's so hard. So that's all I do is I make like a loud sound to let her know not to do it. But see what happens when she's not on top of her? We're not doing that. We'll play with somebody your own size. See? <laughs> She really likes Molly. Like, Molly is who she gravitates to. Good girl. And for anybody who's thinking that I am favoring Ellie because she's my dog, I did the same exact thing for Ruby when Ellie did the same thing to her. Molly! Oh my God. It's supposed to be 70, it's supposed to be 67 degrees today. And it is not. Whoa! Come back! Ah! Oh my gosh! Guys, look, cart and buggy. This thing is on attack mode. Holy heck! Oh, <laughs> I did not know it was going to be this bad. I actually need this bucket. I gotta clean it. I'm gonna put it in the chicken goop tonight. All right, you guys, all stay in here. I'm going in here to find the horses. Oh, hey! Don't even think, hey! hey! That's a girl. The weather is wild today. It is windy as heck. I have no idea where the horses are, but because it's windy, they're probably in the barn. Today I'm gonna start Penny and Lady on a new supplement. One that's like, just for like arthritic horses. All right, I forgot. You guys come over here, you guys gotta go in the barn because this girl likes to chase people. Come on! Uh-oh. Wrong. Come on! Oh, you're already in. Alright, where's Ruby? There's always that one dog that just doesn't listen, just doesn't follow along in the group. There's always one, you guys. Well, hello, Benny! Hello, Storm! Anyway, I'm going to start them on a new supplement. I meant to give it to Sam to put in their grain this morning because I like to start new supplements during the day so that I can keep an eye on what's happening. Because while you, supplements are mostly, all right, supplements are usually safe for horses, but you never know. Like, I'm a sensitive person. We, I just want to make sure. So I like to start them in the daytime and I didn't. So. What I'm gonna have to do is try and hide the supplement in this banana. That's my goal. Storm thinks he's having it. You're not having it. Storm's like, oh, I'll have the supplement. <laughs> 
go. You probably don't even like bananas. So I'm gonna try and stick it in this banana. Get, and I know Penny will eat it. All right. Now, this is gross. Don't use bananas, people. <laughs> bananas are gross, look out. Do you like bananas? Please like bananas. Sophie's like, don't give it to Lady in a banana because she might not like it. No, nope. it's good for you. It's good for your, oh. All right, I wonder if I could hop this fence really quick. Pen! <laughs> I just don't want to have to walk through horses with food in my hands. Does that make sense? Well, hello, princess. Here, look. Quick, eat it before storm comes. It's got a supplement in there. Oh, come on. It's a banana. <laughs> come on. You like bananas. You like bananas. Come on. Oh, what? Is it because you're scared of storm? Come on. I'm kind of scared of storm too. Oh my God. What the heck? Oh, you're not having it. <laughs> it's for you. Come on, eat it. It's so good. Yum. Come on. No, you're not having it. No. Nope. Back to the drawing board because my horse does not like bananas. That's the most annoying thing. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Sophie told me to do this. Was it Sophie? And now I literally have bananas all over my hand. You better eat it now that you've been harassing me. Ah. Come on, dogs. Come on. Get. Come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now the dogs won't come out. Here, baby. Do you want to try some banana? It's banana. Ow. Yep, she likes it. You want some banana? Here. Here. It's for you. <sighs> Man. All right, here's the towel. We're going to have to go through the barn. Find Ruby. <laughs> because the dogs won't go. Oh, I see Ruby. Here, Grace. Look, it's a banana. Ooh. All right, this is the one with the medicine. You know your horses are well fed when they're picky. Where's Ruby? Come on, Ruby. All right, I'm already exhausted. Come on, just eat the banana. Just eat it. Oh, thank you. What a good girl. I knew it was because of storm. I spit out any of that supplement. What a good girl. All right, so now I'm gonna keep an eye on her and make sure everything's good. I really need you to take it. Willow's like, I didn't get any. <laughs> Sorry, Willow, I'll bring out something else. I gotta go get and try something different for lady. Here we go. It's literally a supplement that has devil's claw in it, which is really good for like their gut and also really good for like arthritis and stuff. She, her mouth is already drooling. It's, it's apple. Ugh. Chew it, don't spit anything out. All right, you guys, I might've did it. Yeah, good girl. All right, we're gonna be watching. Don't worry, I brought some apple scraps for you. Come on, you can eat apple. You're welcome. And you didn't get anything before. You didn't get anything before, so you're getting that. Penny won't come. She won't come to a crowded line, and I'm the same. Like. If everybody else is gonna like fight over something, I don't want any part of it. Come here, Gracie girl. Oh, I tried to throw some to Gracie. So you're almost there, Gracie. Yep, she got it, almost got it. Almost got it, you got it, you got it. Nope, she didn't get it. But anyway, you got your medicine, that's all that matters. Thank goodness. I think we're good, I think we're good. I love horses along a fence line. I think it's like the prettiest thing. You guys are so cute and I love our colors. We got three bays, a black and white, and two palominos, and that's so special. I feel like all we need now is a gray, but none of us want a gray, so that's probably not gonna happen. 
but and storms more like a black in the fall so it's almost like a black two two bays two pallies in a black and white yeah i know i know he's just a mean boy all i have left is the banana peel and we've already determined that you don't like bananas who, who knew we would get another picky horse what do you think hey quick go fast because they're all coming Gracie Gracie girl Willow all the little hey all right Gracie I know I know everybody likes it look at how cute you are have some here Gracie you want more no I don't blame you I wouldn't eat it either Oh, there you go. Here, last piece. Last piece. Take a bite. Oh. Now I'm exhausted. I'm literally exhausted. And it's not the horses. It's the dogs. The dogs are exhausting. Never have five dogs. I'll never have five dogs again. Never. <laughs> the dogs literally... It's like a gang effect. When you have a lot of dogs, it's like they're a gang. And they just like go crazy so then they're barking at each other and they're so excited and they're running every time they go outside like crazy which is fine it's normal dogs but it just like gets you on edge and then you take that gang dog mentality and you take it into the horse field and they're all chickens so you're trying to move them from one place to the other and you have ruby who doesn't listen she doesn't follow the gang so then you have to go find ruby and then you have the puppy it's just it's a lot. Kirby is the only one of our dogs that actually tries to herd the goats. <laughs> she, so, yep. Molly never tried to herd our animals. Hey, Kirby! No! We're not herding our goats. We're just not into that. Anyways, Winston is looking so much better. Still has a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of swelling there. I can see it. You feel that. I'm hoping it's not an abscess. If it's, if it's an abscess, I'll have to get it off. But he has no pain. He got cut right here. There's, oh, I saw it. Did you see? There's the cut. It's tiny. I've been cleaning it. Anyways. He has one more day of antibiotics and then we'll figure that out. But it's going down. I brought a kitty litter box for the cat. Are you ready? Do you know what I want help with? Nope. No I could have used help with the horses. They were awful. <laughs> okay. I think she has to jump up in here to eat so that nobody can hurt her. What, baby? Do you need attention? Isn't that so sweet how she calls me? She's like, pay attention. Look at how long back she is. She's like, pay attention to me. So we're going to leave this there for the mean goats. And we're going to move this. And it's heavy. You think we can do it? Can we have another one in the barn? Yeah, we have a bigger one in the barn. It's all the way upstairs. And way further than this one. Oh, she wants you to pet her too. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> baby. You miss me? Tick tock, the clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do, and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures. Of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Sam's gone to check the other one. We have another one in the barn and he, he's thinking that he can <laughs> cut it in half and just cut the front off of it and attach it to the wall, which would be so much better. 
thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault, I messed it up and I should have treated you much better Yeah, it's cute I'll my bills first, but we'll see So you did so did you see in the video yesterday? Did you watch where, what I said? Well, I said before I wanted to block that all in and put a door on this side. Well, now I'm ready for it. Aww. I love them together. I feel so bad for Posey. It's like Ellie's moved on and Posey still loves Ellie. All I want is a door on this side. Like, all I want is a wall here. A wall there? Yeah, just to block the wind and the rain and the snow. Yeah. So I just want to block it so it doesn't get wet from the snow. Yeah. But now we have two diff different areas. I want to check this girl's teats. <laughs> She's like, no, thank you. That's not a good call. That goat right there that's staring at you, she will headbutt you and you will go flying. Trust me, all the goats, have, all the dogs have had their experience with Tilly. She just needs one experience with Tilly and she won't be trying to herd the goats anymore. All right, that's good. I might build something, put on this wall and then get another one on that wall because those are yeah. awful. Yeah, they are kind of awful. The more we have though, the more feeding areas we have, the better. So yeah, one on this wall. I don't know why my pigs are looking huge to me right now. Did you guys know pigs grow for like four or five years? Holy crap, man, what's happening? Yeah. Oh, I might need help. I might need help. <laughs> I, I'm worried about her teat. See this one, it's blown out. Yeah. And she still has milk in it. And she doesn't seem to have mastitis. It's not red and it's not hard and it's not like hot. None of the signs that she has mastitis, but Seems weird, let me show you. So I just, sometimes they can get like pots in there. Let me show you the difference. See, this one's just tiny and then that one's blown out. Uh, blown out just means that it's like a huge nipple. Do you smell the milk? I just wanna show you guys. Oh. Milk, no problem. Milk, no problem, looks good. She just still has milk. That's the thing with goats though, with all animals, you gotta watch, you gotta watch everything. Anyway, she doesn't seem to have an infection and she doesn't have mastitis. I knew she didn't have mastitis, but sometimes they can get like clogged up and we are, haven't been milking her for a long time, but she still has milk. They're like, yes, we got hay finally. They're loving that. And these guys are like, what happened? We've been robbed. But I like it. I like it a lot better. It's nice and clean. We have two different areas. And this will make it hard for these two to see where the babies are, which will really help the babies to be able to eat. Even though, obviously, like I said yesterday, they're all a little on the chunky side. So, um, so I feel good about it. I feel like it's lonely here now. Lots more space. Okay, I'm going. I have to go check on the horses. I'm sorry. Here, come up here, Pose. I can't reach you. I still feel bad leaving Posey. Like, she's a huge mini pig. Like, look how long her body is. Like, she's so long. Everything is good in the in the goat area. Let's go check the horses. You doing good, Pen? <laughs> she pinned her ears at these guys. That's what she does. I don't have any more treats, but I just wanted to see if your banana is helping you. What's happening here? What's happening? Are you in heat? Look at those big feet. Hi, ladybug. Lady went for a nice ride last night with Sophie. Yep, you did. All right. <laughs> yep, I think there's something going on here. There's definitely something going on here. Come on, Kirby. Yeah, you're afraid of him. All right, everybody seems good. Everybody's happy. Winston's doing better. 
the feeding situation is kind of fixed a lot better. We need, I think I need to get like one more feeding station for them. You know how my winter chicken feeder, the one, the heated one is broken? Can you use the same stuff that you used on the water trough to fix it? It's just yeah. a crack in the lid. Yeah, I do both sides on that thing. One day when I was filling up this heated water bucket, I cracked the top. Do you guys see it there, that big crack? So technically it can still work because it goes like this and you just don't fill it to the top, but unfortunately you have to fill it first. So it'll just leak out. Look how big his hands are. Like, I'm not joking, I have big hands for a woman. I have big hands for a woman. And look how huge his are. Don't you know that you're beautiful?